ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 3rd of March, a windy, warm day across the state watching Stormy weather off to the west. Let's go to some sky cam shots this afternoon. First off, a look at the view coming from Tuscaloosa in West Alabama. The sky becoming mostly cloudy there. We note the dew point is up to 59 in our sky cam on top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Here's a look at the sky over Chilton County. The sky cam in downtown Clanton looking south. A, a partly sunny sky there. And the Alabama Gulf Coast. That's our view on the Phoenix All Suites looking back to the west. And we note the dew point down there is up to 64. And that's the air that should be advecting in here tonight. What a storm. Uh, that big old trough beginning to uh, cut off down to the south. That upper level low is developing uh, south of uh, Lubbock and Childress, Texas. Big storms in the warm sector in advance of that. And big snow going on in the cold air. And speaking of cold air, what a thermal contrast this afternoon. You've got temperatures in the low 70s down at Lake Village, Arkansas, with readings 40 degrees colder back in northwest Arkansas. you got 32 at Fort Smith. And uh, we're going to see a day tomorrow with temperatures going the wrong way. We'll start off near 60 in the morning. We'll wind up in the 40s tomorrow afternoon as the cold air blows in here. Now, there's the uh, severe weather risk for the rest of this afternoon and tonight. This is technically valid through 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And we've got the moderate risk for the southern two-thirds of Mississippi, parts of west central and southwest Alabama, and the rest of the state with a slight risk. And then on day two, that part of east Alabama is under a slight risk where the convection will likely extend beyond 6 o'clock in the morning. That would include the U.S. 431 corridor and then points off to the east all the way to the Atlantic coast. Uh, this is uh, one of the two watches up this afternoon. That's uh, in effect for much of Louisiana and South Arkansas until 6 o'clock. And this watch was just issued about the time I'm cranking out this uh, update here uh, for a large part of Mississippi and southeast Louisiana until 11 o'clock tonight. And uh, we'll be watching develops, developments in that watch box very carefully. And all of that will be moving in here after midnight tonight. Uh, there's a look at the actual uh, pressure pattern across the south as of 2 o'clock this afternoon. The surface low developing nicely near Monroe, Louisiana. And that will be moving up in the general direction of Memphis and then Nashville. And, of course, that will keep us in the warm sector tonight. In terms of the uh, instability, this is a look at the surface-based Cape at uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon. We've got the uh, Capes up to 1,000 joules near Jackson, Mississippi, uh, close to 2,000 joules down around New Orleans. And, again, that air will be advecting up in here. And, quite frankly, we don't see much reason for the Capes to be, say, under 500 or 1,000 over West Alabama this evening and later tonight. Now, the uh, this is the 0 to 1 kilometer storm relative helicity the veering of the wind in the lowest one kilometer and uh, of course that that stuff's off the chart there uh, running along that boundary through Louisiana and the Mississippi Delta and there's no doubt we're going to see some rotating updrafts uh, we'll have to watch those very carefully tonight so uh, severe weather we think it's going to be mainly uh, midnight to eight o'clock midnight for the far western part of the state eight o'clock for the far eastern part and don't forget, we got snow in the cold air. Look at here now. This is uh, snow that will be falling late this afternoon and tonight. Snow falling for places like Wichita Falls, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Fort Smith and Fayetteville, Arkansas, Springfield, Missouri. You'll be getting some good snow back up in there, back in the cold air side of the surface low. And tomorrow, the uh, snow moves up to the north uh, for places like St. Louis and Indianapolis and Detroit. Uh, looks like the heaviest snow south of Chicago. So let's go to model output, and we'll kind of get on uh, beyond this event and focus on what's going to happen beyond this. Uh, this is valid at noon tomorrow. Uh, the cold core is uh, north of Memphis, and at the surface, the showers and storms are over in Georgia at midday. The uh, thickness values are cold enough for snow showers and snow flurries, maybe down into Muscle Shoals and parts of North Alabama. We could see a few snow flurries or showers tomorrow afternoon, but mainly over the Tennessee Valley. I'd say the prospect of those down at Birmingham would be pretty small. Wednesday, the whole thing is gone. Uh, Wednesday morning will be cold. Uh, we'll be around 32, but we'll warm up into the upper 50s Wednesday afternoon. Should be a sunny day. 
And then Thursday, the fun and games continue. We got a trough off to the west. And at the surface, that surface boundary comes in here Thursday afternoon. It might bring a few showers, but the moisture is going to be very limited. And then we'll go to Friday morning at 6 o'clock, and a storm forms down there in the Gulf, and you can see that the uh, critical thickness for snow is uh, right over Birmingham. Uh, and again, one way or the other, moisture is going to be pretty limited. So Friday morning, we'll mention the chance of a little light rain or maybe a few snowflakes, but uh, no big issue at this point. And then on to noon Friday, the surface low deepens east of Jacksonville and Orlando and Daytona Beach. And it gets uh, pretty chilly here. Looks like highs will be in the 40s. And look at Saturday, a strong Vortmax rotating to the base of the long wave trough. And at the surface, uh, it gets even colder Saturday. Uh, this is suggesting a high maybe in the mid to upper 40s on Friday and maybe low 40s on Saturday with a pretty strong north wind. At this point, Saturday looks like a chilly and blustery day, maybe a few snow showers in advance of that Vortmax there. And you can wonder if we might see a few snow flurries here Friday night. How about that? And then Sunday, things look a whole lot better. Sunny, a cold morning. I think we'll be in the 20s at daybreak, but we'll warm up to uh, maybe near 60 Sunday afternoon. The cold snaps don't last long this time of the year. And there's Monday of next week, and that looks relatively quiet. In one peak at the end of the cycle, this is valid March the 19th. Big trough back in the southwest U.S., and uh, that's suggesting, uh, again, potential for some storminess. But look, we're not going to focus on specifics uh, much beyond seven days here because this is a very active and challenging pattern, needless to say. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog, that's alabamawx.com if you're accessing this through YouTube or iTunes. And uh, weather permitting, we'll have the next video tomorrow morning at 7. If we have severe weather, we'll just uh, cancel that and crank one out tomorrow afternoon. Catch us on television. We'll have a uh, live update on the live stream tonight at 7 on abc3340.com. Just click on the uh, live stream there. And uh, then, of course, uh, coverage tonight is necessary as things evolve, and we'll watch it carefully. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.